Wow. It's time for another adventure, and Matt had his heart set on the Yarrandiri ghost town. I designed a route that would see us go up Bells on a Road to Mount Victoria, and then inland to Glen Chi Road, which meets up with the six foot track. And that's where our plan got bogged. Will we make it to Yandiri on time? Will we have enough fuel to get back out again? And will a dingo eat us during the night? First bacon egg rolls at Macca's and then a misty ride up through Bells to Mount Victoria. Out of the soup! Now, no matter how many times you ride through here, it's always beautiful. The run down the Cox's River Road towards Glen Chee is a stunning view and be nice on a road bike before it turns into the dirt. Oh, the house on top of the hill? Yeah. Shit. What a view. <laughs> Roller coaster. <laughs> Quite clean. Ooh, that's actually flowing reasonably quick, isn't it? Yeah. sliding then. It was that whole edge fixation thing I was kept saying to myself, look at the road, yeah. look at the road. <laughs> <laughs> it's just looking at that river, that is very full. Road work ahead, I sure hope it does. Matt and I are connected via Senna, but our cameras aren't always running okay. simultaneously. Hence the audio sometimes comes from the centre. Yeah, we're not that far out of the city, but I feel like we're a long way out of the city. Absolutely. Like we're in the country. Definitely. Didn't like, they... I think it's because no one drives down these roads, really, unless you live here. Yeah, like that guy was shocked. It's like, yeah. what are you guys doing here? <laughs> I've got my excavator parked in the middle of the road. Yeah. <laughs> Glen Chi Road, six foot track. Beautiful country. And you're right, we're not far out of Sydney, but not many people would come here. Just realised how much my windshield r rattles. Whoa. Oh, Whoa, where are we? This way. Oh, oh God. Oh wow, look how beautiful that is. Whew, big rivet, riv, um, guts, uh, erosion down the side. <laughs> Can't concentrate until... <laughs> Brain's going, stop talking and concentrate on riding, you dickhead. <laughs> 
Glenchy Road is reasonably straightforward to begin with until we head further down towards the creek and the valley. While today's weather is near perfection, we had no idea how much water to expect in the environment after it had been raining all week prior to this trip. Good. Oh. Oh, my water's out. Oh no, I hit my water um bottle lid <laughs> on the way out. A quick pit stop to strip down the winter gear and then a steep climb into Canangra Boyd National Park would be our first obstacle. Canangra is an Australian Aboriginal name for beautiful view. slow down too much vertical. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can hear me. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I hope I had the capro on for that. I'll tell you, I was almost up your clacker. Because <laughs> I didn't want to pull my clutch in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be one of those ones that looks like nothing on camera. Yeah. I know it gets hairy when you say that. Yeah. <laughs> so I just go straight into butthole, start clenching. <laughs> you're breathing like you pushed it up the hill. I know. Oh, oh. Cool. <laughs> I blame Gary for that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is a good strong reason not for doing this by yourself. The video will show I had the perfect line there and someone was doing burnouts in front of me. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. <sighs> I hope I at least got someone muddy then with all that effort. Follow the tire tracks. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so we're going to follow this for another fourteen kilometres get back to Janolan Caves Road. We're hoping it's not too difficult because we're, you know, you're still learning. We're still learning. If it's like this it'll be good. Amazing how um, I was the whole way down. I was trying to figure out how to turn my thing back on. <laughs> you know, you do it a hundred times, but when your brain's concentrating on riding, well, 
<laughs> I'll forget how to talk. Yeah, this is doable. This is actually exactly the type of road I want to be doing. Like, this is the stuff I'm not going to bring the van on. Uh, I feel like I needed to get a bike like this to get here. And it's challenging, but not killing me. The risk to reward is good for me. Like, it's beautiful country, and I don't feel like I'm going to die every second. <laughs> so, yeah. I can actually enjoy it a little bit. Yeah, that's it. If you were sort of in a panic the whole time, you're not going to enjoy that. No. Have you ever heard riders jinx themselves more than that? You can hear my brain clicking right when I'm going down the hill concentrating. Yeah. <laughs> it's like those guys, they look like farmers who are growing up on dirt bikes their whole life. Yeah. And they just look so confident at it. And, um, oh, geez. Oh, oh this is going to oh. Sorry, man, I'm going through. Yeah. That's definitely the better path. <laughs> yep, you're good. And then go straight down the middle, don't go where I am. Well, oh, don't saw it, don't saw it, don't saw it. <laughs> oh shit, boys. Alright. Keep going. You right to go? These guys coming back up. I don't think so, I think they someone stuck. You right guys? Follow you. Over that side he's saying. Which side? Right, right or left? Left, I think. Shall we go give Gaz a hand? I don't know if I put my bike on the stand if it's going to stay there. There's a possibility. If this gets worse, we might have to actually go back. You good? All right. Do you know what it's like further down, or? No. <laughs> oh, okay. You got to push back up that hill. Yeah. Yep, do it. Hey Gary, you got your ears on? No. Yeah. Just got to get over to that other side of the track there. dropped it. Oh. I think we might have to call this and go back. Looking down the bottom of this hill. Ready, set, go. Oh. 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 <sighs> I think he's just out now. Going downhill. If we were to turn around and go back the way we come, is there a quick road way around? Yeah. I'm kind of thinking we're probably better off turning back. Um, I think the further we go down... Walk down there, it looks like it doesn't... gets a little bit better further down, but she's going to be slippery. All right, it flattens out in a bit and it looks much better. But I didn't go too far, so I imagine we'll get more ruddy bits further down, but the other dirt bikes all just took off down the bottom, so they all got through. Yeah. So, could be this is the worst of it. I mean, if not, even going down there and turning around yeah. is better than turning around here, I reckon. Yeah, it's tricky. Oh, that's good. Well done, made it look easy. <laughs>
Oh, find a creek. <laughs> How are you going to turn it? Just put it up on its stand and swing it around? Oh, I know the stand turn, but it sinks into the ground. Oh, right, the the yeah, we, we just caught the bike before. All right. So I'm in the middle of the road, so I guess that means I've got to go first. All righty. So the hill that's almost defeated us. All right, let's give this thing a go. Oh, she's slippery. All righty. Definitely was the worst of it. So we were just spending the last little bit <laughs> longer than we care to admit deciding whether we should turn back or keep going. Now looking at the map, basically it's 14 Ks until we get back to Janolan Caves Road. However, within about a kilometer it gets back up on the ridge again kind of assuming once we're up on top of the ridge that it should be reasonably straightforward. However, we're probably all feeling a little bit <laughs> pessimistic about it at the moment, although this is looking pretty good. No worries. This guy's is through. Actually, I will go here. Come on, G1. Make it look easy. I went the right side. Who's gonna look at me? Look at me! Mike goes right! <laughs> you got a stick in your chain. Just hold on a sec. Thank you. Gonna say. <laughs> You're talking to yourself there, Vern. <laughs> it said um, <laughs> private property. Oh, did it? No access, but it, uh, it was a, the arrows are pointing each direction, which I'm sure it meant. Can't go up the hill. Yes. Good thing about going last is you can see where um, the deepest part is and go the other way. <laughs> or you can do what I do and just go through the middle anyway. Just play out through it. <laughs> yeah. It's the worst thing that happen. Going around the side room. Involves a little bit of skill. Whoa, shit. <laughs> oh. Far out. Slippery? <laughs> yeah, this is no good. Ooh. 
Oh, he's stopped there. Yeah. Can you go up a bit further? And all the bikes are there, so. Yeah, but they're all stopped. Yeah, why are they all stopped? This is a pretty shitty spot to turn around. Is there somewhere better further up? Well, it's all mud through there. At least we can ask the bikes. They might have been further up. Yeah. We can ask them what it's like. I don't know. So if nothing else, we can pull over and turn around. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. <laughs> Let's just get up there at least so we can talk to the riders and see. They might say, yeah, it's shit. Or they might say, nah, it's fine. Yeah. Because then we know which way we're going. It's one of these things is once you stop, it's harder, isn't it? Yep. Oh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> BM down. <laughs> Did you drop it? Yeah, in the mud. No wonder Gary wanted to wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, I need some muscles. <laughs> I don't want to get in the mud. Should have followed your line through the deep hole rather. I thought I'd go the middle. Didn't work. It's going to take my helmet to find out what's happening up here. <laughs> oh, I'll get down in the mud if. I can go, if you go over there and just sort of pull on this, we can lift from the back here. <laughs> can I grab that? It's not that strong. Underneath it, there's a bar. If you can get to the black stuff. There. Oh, yeah, I don't know how you get to that, actually. There's a bar there. That's probably the best. Or that. Yep. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> All right. Yep. And she's up. What do you reckon? Just walk it in gear? I think we should, yeah. Just watch your feet, guys. Yeah, all good. My feet are okay. There <laughs> you go. We've got to come back through it. Yep. So what's happened up ahead? Oh. It's deep as fuck, man, and it's fast flowing. Oh, is it? Yeah, I'd say just maybe get it on the flat bit there, so you can turn it just in case. Turn around. Turn around here. All right. So that crossing's really deep, right. and there's yeah. another three of them. There's another three oh. after that. Really? Yeah. So it just it it's, it basically follows the river for a little bit before it goes back up. So yeah, I reckon we turn back. I think we just need to get on the go now. Yeah. Yeah. We've had a good challenge, but I think yeah. They um they pushed all the bikes through. They didn't ride through, it was too deep. Oh really? And still flooded them. They oh, flooded no. one of them, yeah. Oh, right. Right. No, we're out. All right. Alright. Yeah. I think it's only gonna get harder. So. Yeah. I wouldn't have done that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think it's only going to get harder. It'll get back up onto that ridge, but I think there's going to be a hard work to get back up there. So. If we live, if we live 50 k's up the road, and yeah. you know, you, you, you can do recovery. Yeah. But. I feel like we've earned, earned our pub lunch. Yes. And we've earned an easy ride to the camp, campsite from here. Well, I think we will have earned it once we got back out again.
Yeah. yeah. At least we know what's coming, so it's not so, so bad. Yeah. All right. And then we're just straight lines over. Yeah, hey, where's yeah. my help going? Maybe just up there, running that muddy bit a bit further. Would you guys want a hand turning around as well? I reckon we're on hard ground now, I think it'll be easier. I love the optimism. <laughs> See if I can do better on take two, eh? Well, at least I'm filming it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, Gary. Oh, all right. Oh, the creek. Oh. Oh, Gary. Give me a heart attack there, mate. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yes, cancel navigation. Get me the hell out of here. Right, can we get back to the top of the hill where we stopped the first time? And um, have a day to do, and then... Yeah, I think so. As midday approached, we needed to backtrack follow the known path back out to Janolan Caves Road and get to Oberon to refuel so we can get to the campsite before dark. We were on track as long as we didn't break anything. In the next episode we head towards Oberon to refuel and then we head down to the campsite via the Coolong stock route but would we get there before dark?